The beginning was 1976, when Victor Ku accompanied Victor Lim to buy his initial birds from Jose Yao, which is mostly Stichelbaut, Viberman, and Conifius. He bought 12 pieces. Victor also acquired some pigeons from Henry Tan. But the parrot that became one of his foundations and subsequently formed his stock came by a Joseph van Denbroek through drawing of lots. There were 26 birds imported through the efforts of Cham Tian Sang. But luckily, both of the birds that Victor got were undoubtedly the best. The cock which is blue barred white flighted beauty and with a ring number 3076774 was paired to the other Van Den Broek checkered hen with the ring number 3076776. This pair produced countless winners, not just for Victor Lim but for several other fanciers. Even their great 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 grandsons and granddaughters not just their offsprings, he won in almost all distances, including very very difficult races. Being the master breeder that Victor is, he tried an assortment of breeding methods. From his available 12 breeding pairs, originally, he began to line breed soon after his birds began to show promise. Though, much later, when his stock grew to a couple of hundred, he paired a lot of pigeons and when a particular pair breeds a winner, it is marked for future repairing but will still be under observation if it will still produce fine offspring. Victor regularly supplies his birds with the usual stuff like grits, picking stone, mineral salts, ideal pills, and just kitty vitamins, Enerbon C and Nutriplex. Peanuts is also served, 3 to 4 pieces per day. Victor is not into treating sickly birds, just call, he says of repeatedly sick pigeons. He does not want his loft to be an infirmary. And that explains why this birds from this man are very sturdy, for their resistance to diseases is very high. Almost all successful local fanciers have, or have used, the Victor strain in their lofts whether directly or indirectly. But it is very sad to note that some big-name fanciers does not acknowledge that their claim to fame was by way of Victor's bird. The results that fanciers get from using his birds are often astounding, even good old-time fanciers have to share the limelight with the upstarts. This very honest man gives away good and tested pigeons just to give opportunities for beginners to win. A very thrilling Bosco bought an S race was held on December 12, 1986. There were only 52 entries, down from 1,000 plus on first lap, with a distance of about 660 kilometers. The course includes a 200 plus kilometer sea travel, then the birds have to negotiate a lot if mountain ranges not to mention extreme and varying weather. In this particular race that the Victor bird shook the entire pigeon locale down to its core. Hi Ma Arandia first. Hi Ma Lim second. And Victor Lim third. Victor Lim only third place? But you see, he bred all these three winning birds, and that's how great his pigeons are. From a very tough cast of pigeon fanciers from around the globe, Victor Lim managed to sneak into fourth overall finish in this international event. He bred this winner. Band number 45169, from a blue hen with band number 1992 and an excellent stock cock number 93290. The sire of this holid placer, incidentally, is now in the good hands of John Venko. With countless wins in auction races, futurities, laps, overall, superset, Victor remembers some heartbreak misses, he recalled that sometime in the early 80s, in an auction race he came fifth just behind two fanciers. But if it is any consolation all five birds were from his loft. In the only Shurigo race held sometime in April of 1987, Victor Lim clocked in second in this 720 kilometers classic. 23 lofts with their best 56 birds participated. Only six birds were clocked, Albert Lim won first in the young bird category while Andre Song was the champion in the old bird. Check out your pedigrees if it has some of Victor Lim's choice pigeons. These pigeons have produced winners through several generations. They are namely 3394, 1303, 63183, and 62783. It is with a heavy heart that Victor has to give up his pigeon racing career. Due to his prevailing heart condition, doctors advised him to give up the sport. The year was 1995 when he finally bid racing pigeons bye-bye. 
But the impact of the 19 years career of this master breeder is truly remarkable and his pigeon's worth is more than its weight in gold. We surely miss you. For more videos, hit like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.